Never yeah. rains in the press. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes. Some, some leaves, though. It rains in. in. Yeah. 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 You guys ready to go? Um, guys, that was uh, that was fun. Uh, it was one of those games that uh, you know our guys prepared well for. I thought uh, Vanderbilt came back and really played hard and, and uh, did some good things. I thought gave us some trouble, obviously throwing the football. Uh, with some of the motions and shifts. I don't think our communication was great, and yet um, we figured out a way to get them stopped. I think, uh, you know, the third quarter, um, you know, shoot, our defense was only out there probably six, seven, eight plays, something like that, um, which I thought was really good. And, uh, you know, our guys, guys knew what they needed to do, and, and uh, they went out and did it. And that that's uh, that's good. So... That's one uh, in the books, and now we'll get ready to, uh, to go play next week, another opportunity in the swamp, um, which is going to be a lot of fun, uh, a lot of excitement, and I know our guys are uh, going to really look forward to it. Uh, Injury-wise, uh, Luke will be done. Uh, he'll have surgery on Monday, um, and, uh, you know, he was, he was doing a good job. But Felipe came in, um, you know, took care of business, thought he uh, handled it well, and, uh, you know, obviously that, that drive right before half was, was huge um, and uh, did a good job and, and we'll be ready and get, get him and uh, Malik ready to roll, obviously expanding the package with Kadarius bit by bit back there as well. Um, you know, that'll be something that'll continue as we look and just see how he handles it um, and, and feeding it bit by bit as we move through the season. I um, thought our guys ran hard. I thought the runners ran hard, and the guys up front are starting to get it. Um, there at the end, I thought we wore on them pretty good. Um, obviously, that last fourth down, um, you know, they were out of timeouts. Um, once we broke into the open, it's a teachable moment. Obviously, you'd want them to go down right there because at that time, the clock situation, there wasn't um, – there was no way that they could have stopped the clock and we could have knelt on it without them ever touching the ball. And yet uh, those are teachable moments and, and uh, we'll get that we'll get that handled. Hopefully we're not in that situation. Hopefully we're just winning, right, and, and not having to worry about it. So, But things like that to come up, those are always fun to talk about and fun to teach from. And, uh, you know, there at the end uh, – after I saw Eddie's attempt on the first one uh, with the ball in the paint uh, and his left foot gave out, we just felt at that time we could have pinned him down. Obviously, didn't have a good punt, but as it is, it worked out. Um, yeah, when, when he when he planted and, and uh, it went uh, about ten yards, that, that wasn't very good. So, um, but. Our guys responded, and uh, we did a pretty decent job in the red zone, I thought. And uh, let's get ready. Uh, let's go enjoy this. You guys enjoy it. You got me? It's fun to win. And uh, then we'll get a chance to put a plan together and, and get back in the swamp next week. Go ahead. How much do you feel for, for Luke and yeah. you know what he went through last year and then to come out? do it again no it's it's hard you know it's hard and uh, i think he was the one that told you he's never been through a season on a team that ever, you know, he's one quarterback so uh that's exactly right uh he was actually a, a bit of a prophet right there and uh but uh you know just feel horrible for him and and yet the guys rallied behind felipe and and like i said when we talked about our situation that's what we'll do moving forward thank you the running game and the offensive line, I mean, obviously that's how where you want everything to start. Is that is that the best you've kind of seen that come together in yeah, a while? Yeah, you know, I think um, it would, there's been bits and pieces, and as you guys have been up there watching, you know, it seems like all of a sudden something will go haywire and we never can recover. I thought we recovered today and didn't, didn't let the negatives affect us, uh, which is good. And... Uh, I think they got a little confidence the week before, uh, you know, in that in that fourth quarter, uh, and, and kind of decided, yeah, yes, we can, and uh, and it was good to see that. And, and how nice to see red zone execution. I mean, actually getting touchdowns. No, that that's that's awesome. And, and 
you know, just missed the one right before half too, you know, um, great read by Felipe, exactly what we wanted to do. We got a free release on the back. Mark did a really good job. Um, we hit him in stride and we probably walk in there. So, um, but the good thing is I thought we executed that, uh, with the time left on the clock where we had to take those, uh, there wasn't any check downs. It was touchdowns or throwaways. Um, and then we were able to convert the field goal, and, and uh, that was good to see Felipe handle that. Andy in the back to the right. Seamlessly, how well did he handle the news when you gave it to him last week, and then how was his preparation through the week? Sure. Um, we talked about it all week. Um, obviously, he was disappointed, as any competitor would be, and yet when you look at the last game, he was one to come out and play well this week. Thomas to the right. You, you've talked establishing. A lot of it comes uh, – is. Uh, Yes, you can, you know, and it, it's it's okay to go do that, right? <laughs> I think uh, from a mindset standpoint, um, I think it's really important. Now, obviously, they're going to load the box next week with the best players there are, you know, and uh, we're going to have our work cut out for us, and we'll see if we're able to handle that. Before we get to Pat, we do have several Florida players begin to show up in the back if you want to peel off. Uh, go ahead, Pat, in the middle. Pat. Yeah, uh, you talked about Felipe, but I mean, you kind of never know where a guy's mindset is. He, he'd been humbled twice, uh, pulled out of two games out of the first three. Uh, sure. Was that a concern of yours at all? No, only because uh, I know how important it is to him, and I know how driven he is to be great, and, you know, also understood. And, um, you know, I think what it does show you more than anything is not only how much he cares about his teammates, but his care teammates care about him. And, and uh, kind of going into it, Pat, that, that probably had a lot to do with him winning the job from the standpoint of being there all the way through spring, uh, what he did through camp in the summer. And, you know, those things are going to pay dividends uh, in the end. Jordan, over to the right. Uh, update on Tyree Cleveland. I saw you. Yeah, no, I didn't. Where's my? You didn't ask. <laughs> I got the assist. Wait a minute. I'm all messed up. I know. I'm all guilty. No, you. You gave your best stuff last week. I was hurt. I mean, I, <laughs> it's like you did it just because I wasn't there. So now you're just you're just like panning this off to people. It, I got the rebound awesome, this time. <laughs> I got you. So injury. Luke Del Rio got hurt. Okay. Um, Tyree Cleveland came off with an ankle. He's had a shoulder. I don't know if he'll go this week. Um, I would think it'd be one that you'd want to go play in, but time will tell. Um, and, and we'll talk about that on Monday or Tuesday or whenever it is we get to see each other again. Um, other updates, uh, you know, BP made it through. I don't think he was himself today uh, from a standpoint. I think he was still dinged up, but did some good things for us. Um, let's see, Kylan, it was good to see him out there. He got some reps. Kerry Clark. You know, he gutted it out, but obviously didn't play uh, the amount of plays that he has. We need to get him healthy. And in saying that, we had some young guys in there that, that I thought did an outstanding job uh, plugging up the middle, taking away the run. And, you know, these guys are kind of known for running the ball, and they threw it all over the park on us. So um, I'm sure that the people next week are going to be licking their chops, ready to throw it all over the park on us. And then Freddie's, Freddie Swain's catch off the tip pass, just the mental toughness to – stay with the ball after the play happened? Um, better lucky than uh, <laughs> not. I mean, uh, I, I really, I mean, yeah, you know, he laid out. It was a good uh, catch. It was a good catch. Um, you hate to see that he had to go do that, I guess is maybe where I'm coming from. But, uh, no, as, as Freddie has given us uh, his energy, um, and what he's done, he was a team captain for this game. It was it was great to see, and, and obviously a huge play in the game. Kevin, yeah, uh, three for three on fourth down. How, how much did the confidence of the first one do you think kind of carry over to the other two? You know, it's it's. Uh, I think we've done a pretty decent job of kind of knowing uh, when we're in those territories. You know, those four down territories. In other words, whether it's going to be three two or one, we're going to go for it which allows you maybe play call a little different on second and third. Um, and, and, uh, but in those situations, look, I've got total trust and confidence in those guys, and we're going to continue to do that, and that's just the way it's going to be. So um, you know what? They're, they're, they're not going to come to the sideline. We're going to go for it.
And Kiva, uh, Kivanov Davis had that serious scooter yeah, accident. Yeah, guys, let's tell you, uh, it's, uh, that, that's uh, those scooters. I, I uh, was able to go see him. He's um, just really feel for him. He's uh, beat up pretty good, had a couple surgeries already. Um, nothing life-threatening. Um, he's got a long road ahead. We're here left in the back coach. Couple of pressures from Jordan Share today. Just yeah, Jordan. Effort. You know, I thought Jordan played within the game, the framework of the game. I think sometimes we get a little loose out there, uh, maybe trying to make too much happen. And what he does is he does his job, then which in turn creates plays that he makes. And uh, um, I'm sure glad he's back and, and playing and healthy because uh, he's a real stabilizer out there for all the young guys that we have on the field. Um, and uh, I don't know, he might have been a babysitter for some of them when he was growing up. I, I have no idea if, uh, where his age difference is, but uh, it's sure great to have him out there and, and obviously big plays. Uh, CC's big play there at, at, you know, on the whatever, they were trying to run the ball again first down. And he's got great quickness. That was great to see. Um, guys, wasn't our best defensive game by any stretch of imagination. Uh, let's call it the way it is. Um, and yet, um, the other side of the ball picked them up a little bit, and that's the way that should be. It's a team game. Our coverage units were light years ahead of where they were a week ago. That's something we've got to continue to do. And, uh, you know, I thought our gunner play by uh, Putu and, and McWilliams uh, really were good, but also the interior guys were doing their job and, and we showed our speed and that was big. I mean, how many times did he flip the field? At least, at least two times. I mean, he, he really flipped the field and, uh, still need him to work on his hang time, but at least we had the good gunner play to get down there and cover. Uh, again, before we get to Matt, we do have several players in the back of you guys. We'll start peeling off. We won't keep them there too much longer. Go ahead. Is that is that the hint for that them to hint. get that me yeah. off the stage? I think it's a hint. Is yeah, that the hint. hook? That is a hint. Is that the hook? That is a hint. We'll, we'll, we'll get Matt. <laughs> Exit stage left. I, I've got two quickies in there. Okay. Um, you didn't, is Del Rio, is that shoulder or collarbone? Or? Uh, the collarbone, I guess, collarbone? is what's going to be surgically put back together. Yeah. And then given kind of the circumstances of everything, how impressive was Frank's drive at the end of the first half to get some points out of the game in the two-man draw? Well, and, draw. and here's what's good, too, is, is uh, those were, you know, the, the, in the base package, whether you're in, you know, two-minute mayday alert, whether you're in two-minute push it, or whether you're in one minute try to steal. And uh, we did a really good job, I thought, of uh, not forcing anything. And, and taking it, um, um, you know, it was good. And, 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 and I don't know, you watched it. He, he didn't have any. It wasn't that, that's what I love about even that in the Tennessee game. He, he just he doesn't waver. You know, he, he's very steady in everything he does, and I think it really showed up on that drive. We're gonna wrap it up for Thomas and what, what were they doing that allowed them to have that kind of success through the air? You know, I think uh, some of their shifts and motions, and then they matched up. They they got matchups on our linebackers, and our linebackers didn't cover. Um, I didn't think our eyes were very good uh, at all, and uh, you know we got to get that we got to get that uh, solved. And yet, they also the guy put it at some places where we had guys right there, and their guys made plays. That's going to happen. It's when you know the guys running open that you kind of get the concern piece of it. And uh, they took advantage of the middle of the field uh, in a lot of things they did. And, you know, that was good by Andy Ludwig, their offense coordinator, who's, you know, one of the best in the business. And, uh, you know, they took advantage of uh, where we weren't uh, ready for it. We'll wrap it up with Ryan in the middle. Just going back to Felipe once more, were there some specific ways in which you saw him improve from Stay. things maybe he wasn't doing to your yeah, liking or No, you know, like I said, I, I, you know, I thought time. maybe there were two series that, you know, just the substitution, the personnel, the, you know, the flow. Uh, we talked about it. Um, I didn't think we're great, uh, and yet I think we got a lot better at it. But part of that was 
not on him. The guys were going and getting lined up. They were listening. They had some energy. They had some attention to detail, and they weren't just waiting for him. The, you, you, look, the other 10 have to go push that envelope, and we got to continue to do that. Thanks, guys.